So I can't see the, the screen, so I have no idea what the camera's seeing. But when we had water coming in last time, this was separating. Look at this. I don't even need a hammer. This is part of the rebuild of the floor before spring because I only get water on this side. I don't get water on the other side, even though there's a pile of snow from the driveway on the other side. So this clay pipe right here used to run about 100 yards to the river to drain. And a few years ago, the city redid the sewer on the main street that's right next to the river. And they cut all these lines. Now I'm pretty sure under this clay pipe bell there's no concrete. I'm going to find that out as soon as I cut the floor. Last summer, we had two huge rainstorms. Nothing at all for little ones in between. And I had water pouring in here. And I think it was right out of this corner. Is where all the water was coming from. At least most of it. So I am putting a perimeter drain inside because I'm cutting the floor up anyways it's not going to be a French drain it's going to be under the floor and I'm going to have a shutoff valve in my sump well. well let's cut some concrete I turn the water on I thought I reset it, I shut the power off. Pretty good for a two hundred and thirty dollar saw, I think. And if I had been renting a saw, mind you, I can only get I can only rent a gas saw. I don't rent electric ones, which you can't use a two cycle inside. But I would have probably spent over a thousand dollars. So like a two hundred and thirty dollar electric saw, I haven't even changed the blade yet. This motor gets hot, and this is old and fairly thick concrete. And if the rest of the floor looked like this, I wouldn't replace the whole floor, but a lot of the floor is actually broken. I also have a six inch pitch from this end of the basement to the other end.
there the breaker goes again. So I'll fill the bucket of water while the motor cools down. I only have about 80 feet of concrete to cut, so 